Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again. Nice to see you. Today we're sharing some updates on the pond. This is where I took this bunker here in my front garden and decided to turn it into a pond. Um, I talked about it before. We've got a, a space here. It's about 18 feet by 10 feet. We took out two tons of sand, two tons of rubble, and then we brought in the heavy machinery very slowly. And we just got to a point where we could not break through the... It was absolutely rock solid, this stuff. So we brought in a little mini digger and I got to have some fun uh, playing around on this. The idea here was I'm trying to dig out part of the pond to level up so as I could actually get into it. So there's quite a big lip there. So first job was to try and dig it out a little bit just so as I could make a platform that I could drive the digger onto without collapsing the thing and completely falling in which kind of went to plan. Um, I think I gave a few people a heart attack at this point, including myself. You can see the wife and daughter getting a bit worried. Dog could not care less. Um, but this was, uh, I want to say, a morning's work. Basically, I had to break through the crust and use it as a bit of a jackhammer rather than a digger. But once I got through the crust, we got into the the meat of the problem and digging out the pond so we try to create some kind of um, gradient down to a deep end and a shallow end that was just full of rocks though so I'm so glad that I got this digger even if I did nearly kill myself trying to use it but it did make things so much easier and um, like I say trying to just make some inroads here the, the getting started was the hardest bit but once we got going it was much easier. I would have hated to do this with just a shovel and a pickaxe. I tried my best to do it with a shovel and a pickaxe, but it just was not happening. And then once we'd got the general shape of it dug out, it was a case of getting in there and refining it. So there was loads of stones, loads of boulders, and it was really just a case of picking through them all by hand. But it was quite fortunate, really, that all those stones and boulders were there, because then I could use them to line the pond later got all the family involved in this stage of it. Uh, kids shoveling barrel loads of <laughs> boulders down to the bottom to get pressure washed so we could use them later on. And if you've got some free labour, why wouldn't you use it? And then pond liner. So it was six metres by eight metres, the pond liner, I think it was. And we've gone in with sand, so all that sand that I dug out before we put in as a liner before, as well as a geotextile thing, which, if I'm honest, was a bit of a waste of time, it was rubbish, it just kept getting in the way. So filled it up with water, starting to see what the form was going to look like. And it was at this point we realised one of us was going to have to actually get in the pond. And I won that one. So good lady wife gets in and it's just a case of trying to flatten out some of the folds and make some of the folds neater. But it wasn't the warmest of days here, so I'm quite glad that I won this one. Chivalry is dead. Um, but yeah, this was probably the hardest bit, or the, the most finicky bit. It took quite a bit of time to get around here. Um, we'd got the main shape of the pond already. It was more a case of trying to get the liner to take that form without stretching it too much in the holes. Um, but yeah, we just had to just keep going at it, basically. Having a go and rearranging and moving and rearranging and moving. So, like I say, that was the most time-consuming bit. As it started to get a bit full with water, it probably took a couple, a good couple of hours to fill with water anyway. But as it was getting to the top, I'd cut out some cutaways, um, some marginal areas. And they were a little bit problematic to get in, but this was the bit where we were kind of biting our nails to see had we done our measurements correctly, had we got it all leveled properly uh, because the bunker that we started with was absolutely not level so we had to build up some areas, cut down some other areas but yeah, so far so good the eagle-eyed among you, we have noticed that I haven't included any areas for filtration so we'll talk about that later but the general idea was we wanted a, a wildlife pond this was Mrs. Adventurer's idea, this is not me forcing my will and she wanted a nice pond so I didn't really get a say in it whether we get fish in there one day I don't know, we have a bit of a heron problem around here, I killed all my goldfish in my little patio pond so for now we're just enjoying it as a bit of a, a natural nature pond 
yeah, waiting for it to fill up. Once it did fill up, um, I didn't film any of this, but we just basically moved all the boulders around the edge, and that gave us this general shape. Um, so it's like I say, I was really glad to <laughs> get all those boulders that we dug out of the hole, because um, it, it helped finish it off quite nicely. Um, created a few areas around the pond that we can do some planting, so we've got a bit of a willow tree in there and a few other plants, but we can fill them out, as well as the two marginal bays. So I've got two marginal shelves, I've got a pond iris and a couple of other plants in there at the moment. A few other plants that I got off Facebook Marketplace. Um, many, many more needed to fill it out. It is quite a large pond and even all the plants that we've bought so far, they really don't do it justice. There's me saying hello while we chance to fly the drone. Uh, this side we've got the shallow end, I've created a little bit of a lip here just so it's if anything does make its way into the pond it can get out easy enough for that little shallow bit and the dogs also enjoy using that to go and drink from the pond and get in and have a swim maybe when it gets really hot but yeah we followed that all the way around and I think it looks quite good I'm quite happy with the end result obviously there's still a little bit more to go we need to get some more plants in just to fill it out a bit and make it look a little bit more natural maybe a bit more gravel to break up those sight lines but I'm kind of happy with how it looks so far. Obviously no filter, I've been looking into any kind of solar options we could do. Um, maybe just to get a solar fountain or something to move the water around so it doesn't stagnate or anything like that. But I think with plenty of plants in there, we could maybe have a few fish. You need to leave me a comment down below, let me know. Um, see if we can convince the wife whether or not we can get a few fish in there. It's definitely, I mean it's big enough to be a koi pond, but it's definitely not a koi pond designed because um, I've not got the mega filtration in there but it's big enough I'm quite happy with that I think it looks pretty good um, it's about three and a half feet deep at its deepest end so more decoration could go in there to provide some, hi provide some hides for the fish if we ever get there but yeah if you like it let me know in the comments what would you add anything else you can see uh, and I'll keep you up to date with future developments See you in the next one.